Hello guys, welcome to our new Scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Scratch interface. So I'm going to start from here in the top. So the first thing we have here is our um, Scratch in orange. When you click on it, this will take you to the main page. Once you click on it, it will take you to the main page. So anytime you get lost or you, you're done doing your project, you wanna to go to the main page and explore other people's videos and games, you can always click on that orange scratch and it will always take you to the main page. Second thing we have here is create. Anytime you wanna start creating a new project, you can always click on create. That will take a few seconds to create a new project for you and we always have the sort of cat every time you start a new project so next to the word scratch over here there's a globe icon once once you click on it you will see all the languages so anytime you would like to change the language to any other language you can always click on that globe icon and go ahead and adjust it let's click on file and the next thing we have here is file when i click on file i can start a new project so let's say you finished work on a certain project you can always save it click on save now and this will save your project and then you can start a new project by clicking on new you don't have to worry about these three options here these three options if you if you didn't have any username and password but since everyone has a username and password you don't have to save any game on your computer so you don't have to worry about these three options okay so the next thing is edit there's a little part here in edit which is very very important let's say i'm doing a game okay and i created a lot of codes i have all these codes stacked up and everything is fine here and all of a sudden i made a mistake and i deleted my cat okay and now all my work is lost how can i get my cat back okay if i click on an edit here you will see restore sprite is in white now you can click on it and it will restore the last sprite you have but here is a little bit of a problem if let's say we have two sprites let's say we have two characters here and I go here and I delete both of them. Okay, you cannot restore both sprites. It will restore the last one you deleted. And that's a little bit of a problem. So you have to make sure once you delete one character by accident, you have to go to edit, click on restore sprite right away. Okay, all right. So the next thing we have here is tutorials. You click on it, it will show you some cool tutorials. If you have spare time, you can spend it watching these tutorials. It will teach you exactly how to do these short uh, mini games okay you have animations you have art music games and stories let's go back the next bar we have over here is to title your project so let's say we're doing today a project called angry bird i'm gonna go here and type angry bird okay so here is to title you title your project moving on to the next thing is which is share let's say you finish working on a certain project you can always share it with other people. Other people will like it and uh, also remix it and share it. Okay, okay. So we're gonna move on to the next thing we have here, save now. Usually when you do some changes on your project, let's say we added extra code in here, you will always kind of see save now. So if you want, let's say you, you're in a rush and you wanna go, you don't wanna click on file and then save now. It's a lot of work for you. There's always save now. Sometimes it will disappear. Sometimes you will not see it in here. It will completely disappear. And that's like, like now. And that is because it's already saved. Scratch has this feature which allows, uh, allows it to uh, automatically save your project without even clicking on save. So don't worry if you all of a sudden your computer shut down, you still, uh, your project is still saved because of this feature, okay? Don't worry about this for now. This is just a studio you have. Uh, all the stuff that you created so don't worry about that for now okay okay let's go back here and over here you see your name once you click on your name you have these four options first thing is a profile um, this we're going to talk about in another video because you have to upload a picture on your profile you're going to talk about what are you doing uh, and you know what kind of project you're doing what, are we, what is the name of the project and all this Okay, the one I want to talk about is my stuff. Once you click on my stuff, you will be taken to this page here. And here you have all the videos and games that you created. Okay, so once you click on my stuff, you will always be transferred to the page where you have all the videos and games uh, that you made. 
Okay, let's go down here and we have three options. Option number one is the full screen option. Once you click on it, it will take you to the full screen. So let's say you finished your game and you wanna play the game, you want more space to play the game, you can always click on full screen and that will take you to the full screen. The next two options here are very, very good because they, they are helpful sometimes when you have a lot of codes going on here, you can always click on them and it will adjust the size of your stage. So let's say you want you are more concerned about the code, you don't have space here, you want to have a little more space, you can always click on this one and this will shrink the size of the um, stage. Click back and that will um, grow it. So let's go on to these two. Okay, we talked about this many times. These two buttons here, this is like your dad driving with you or your mom driving the car, okay? Once your mom or your dad see the green sign, that means go. Same thing over here. When you click on it, your project start. Second one is the red circle, and this means stop. Every time you click on it, it will stop your project. Okay, we're done with this. Let's go down here. Here is your character. Okay, so anytime you pick a character, it will always show on the stage. And this is what we call the stage. Just little box here, it's called the stage. Okay, let's go down here. Over here, this is your character. It will be always showing in the bottom here. Let's say you don't like the name of the character, it's called Sprite One. How do I rename my character? You can always go here and rename your character. So I'm gonna call it Cat One, for example. Okay, so you can title your, your um, character over here. Okay, now my character is a little too big or a little too small. How do I adjust the size of the character? You can always go on the top of size and instead of 100, let's say if you want to make it bigger, you can put 300 and this will make your character bigger. Or you can make it smaller by adding a smaller number, let's do 20, and that will make your character uh, shrink. Okay, so I'm going to do a proper size here, I'm going to do 50. Okay, so I have my character here. What if I want to hide my character? Over here, you have two options, show and hide. Anytime you want to hide your character for some reason, you can hide it. You can also show it. Okay, so we're done with the size. We're done with the renaming and we're done with showing and hiding. Let's move on to the next one, which is direction. Once you click on direction, you have you will see a so, sort of like a clock and you have this little arm here where you can move around and turn your cat in any direction you want. Okay. Now, the last two things we're going to talk about today are, first thing is choosing a sprite. You can always go here and that uh, cat and click on it. And that will allow you to search for a specific character. Now, there are three ways to search on Scratch. Number one is you can scroll down. And this is kind of the hardest way to search because you still have to be looking for the character. Okay. You can look at these categories here. You have multiple categories, animals, people. So this will kind of narrow your search when, you, when you're looking for something specific. Also, the easiest way to do this is you can search your character. So let's say I'm looking for uh, a ball. So I can just go here and type ball and it will get you everything that has to do with a ball, even a player, okay? So let's go back. So we're done picking a character. Let me go back and pick a character. So let's say I'm gonna pick this one. Perfect. Now, how do I pick a background? The background I have here is white. How do I pick a background? Next to the characters, you have the backgrounds over here. You click on it, and this will allow you to pick any background you like. So I'm gonna go here and click on that party, the balloon. Okay. All right, see you guys on the next video. Bye.